you need to build a RepRap Prusa Mendel Iteration 2. On the right side of the table are the tools and supplies you'll need. And on the left side of the table here, from the nuts and bolts all the way over, is what is what's usually included in a complete kit. And more specifically, this is what is included in a complete kit at Northwest RepRap, or nwreprap.com. This is the first video of a series of videos which will guide you through the assembly process. So first I would like to talk about the tools and supplies that you'll need. You'll need a small set of needle nose pliers. You'll need either a, an 8 millimeter or a 5 16 drill bit, a 4 millimeter or a 5 30 second drill bit, a 3 millimeter or a 9 64th drill bit. And with the drill bits, you'll need either a hand drill or a power drill like this one here. You'll need two 13 millimeter open box end wrenches. I've also found that actually a half inch box end wrench works too. You'll need a soldering iron and solder, a Phillips head screwdriver, a pencil, a digital caliper. In this case, I'll be using a six inch digital caliper that goes up to 150 millimeters. Um, I do recommend that, uh, that you get a 12 inch caliper um, if you're gonna get one. But a six inch will work. You'll need an 18 inch stainless steel or aluminum straight edge ruler. Uh, this goes up to 455 millimeters on one side and 18 inches on the other side. You'll need a wire strippers or wire cutters, uh, about a dozen zip ties. You'll need some, some oil. In this case, I'll be using gun oil, but any loose viscosity oil should, should work just fine for the smooth rods and Z-screw. Uh, you'll need a set of Allen keys. In this case, I'll be using a 1.25 millimeter Allen key, which is used for the set screw on the aluminum pulleys, and a 3 millimeter Allen key for the M4 bolts. You'll need some high heat silicone. In this case, I'll be using Permatex Ultra Copper. And that actually uh, takes care of all the tools and supplies that you'll need separate from the complete kit. Um, I would also like to uh, recommend that perhaps you get some wire wrap, a standard cigarette lighter, some 10 millimeter Captain tape, a standard uh, pocket knife, a pair of crimps, and an organizer. Preferably an organizer with compartments that are removable, which helps with the assembly process, and then the organizer helps you store extra parts that you don't use. Okay, and that takes care of all the tools. Now, I would, I'm also going to go over all of the um, parts that are included in a complete kit here as well. So, this includes a 480-watt ATX power supply, which has the uh, power switch for the ATX uh, connected here with a copper wire. comes with a 6-foot power cord. This kit comes with um, flush fit uh, cut smooth and threaded rods. Now, this is actually, the, the length of these is actually different than what's specified as at reprap.org. Um, and the reason for that is because these are flush fit. The specifications at reprap.org will actually leave overhang on the reprap. So these actually make for a really nice looking reprap. Uh, this kit comes with a complete set of plastic parts and these look really great. Um, in the plastic parts, it has the end stop holders uh, eight bar clamps, comes with two vertices with no feet, uh, four vertices with feet, comes with the Y motor mount, comes with the ZN motor mounts that are one piece so you don't have the separate bar clamp for these. It comes with an electronics mounting plate, a Wade's large gear, and a Wade's small gear. It comes with a set of four GT2 belt clamps, a set of three bearing guides, comes with the Greg's idler, a uh, set of four bed mounts for linear bearings. It comes with the um, 
the X end idler and the X end motor mount comes with the Greg's extruder, which is um, an enhancement to the Wade's extruder, and it comes with a linear bearing X carriage. Uh, also included with the kit, it comes with uh, five high powered Kaisen stepper motors, and these are uh, 1.8 degree, I believe. Comes with a 10 foot USB cable. Comes with uh, computer plugs and crimps here. Comes with three uh, mechanical end stop switches. Comes with uh, all the wire that you need. It comes with uh, a, a surface mount resistor and two surface mount blue LEDs for the heated bed. It comes with a hopped bolt. Um, it comes with an, with an electronics package. This is actually a printer board, but um, at the Northwest Rep RepRap website right now, they currently have the uh, Ramps 1.4 and Arduino Mega 2560 with their kits. So um, they, they, they're very specific about what's included in their kits. It, it pretty, they pretty much have a bill of materials on the product page for the products that they sell there. So um, you, you'll, you'll definitely know what electronics you're getting. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't normally come with this one. Um, it also comes with a J-head hot end. And uh, this, is, this takes 3 millimeter filament and has a 0.5 millimeter nozzle. The hot end comes with a, a heater resistor and a thermistor and an extra thermistor for the, for the heat bed. And this is an MK1 heat bed, which um, <clears throat> also comes with a tempered glass custom cut uh, glass bed, as well as a quarter inch MDF board for the bed. And uh, the kit comes with 234 millimeter measuring stick and a 290 millimeter measuring stick. It comes with uh, paper clips, a set of four rubber feet, uh, six 608 ZZ roller bearings. Comes with a set of 12 LM8UU linear bearings. It comes with a set of two uh, aluminum couplings. This goes from five millimeter to eight millimeter. These are really fantastic. Comes with springs for the Z axis, and it comes with springs for the extruder. It comes with uh, two sets of belts for for the uh, Y and X axis. This is uh, GT2, and it comes with two uh, GT2 17 tooth aluminum pulleys with a five millimeter bore, so it fits on the stepper motors. Comes with 100 uh, nuts for the threaded rod and 100 washers. It comes with 30 uh, lock nuts for the M3 bolts, and it comes with 30 regular nuts for the M3 bolts. It comes with 100 M3 washers. Uh, it comes with um, thirty of the M3 10 millimeter bolts, and it comes with uh, twenty of the 25 millimeter M3 bolts, and it comes with thirty of the M3 14 millimeter bolts. It comes with two 60 millimeter bolts for the extruder idler and one uh, 30 millimeter bolt. It comes with two M4 bolts, two M4 washers, and two M4 nuts.